Sir, did you find what you were looking for? Yes, and no. Tell me, where can I find the customs agent? The man's name is Beddoes, and at this time of day, you'll likely find him on the pier near a ship. Thank you. You have been most helpful. Pleasure to be of service, sir. Let us hope that these registers contain what we need. They must be here, somewhere. Aha, these must be the registers. This one concerns special imports. Hmm, nothing definite or comprehensible here. All that they mention is that these goods were stored in Warehouse 16. I see nothing further of interest here. Best to leave these ledgers as we found them. The iron boxes were stored here. A careful search of the place might reveal some valuable evidence. I see no way of opening this door. Filthy tar! My shoes are thick with it! Hold on, Watson. These traces have much to tell us. Regard how they resemble those nearby. The size is undoubtedly seven. The shoes are also hard-soled. The right shoe is missing a nail. Ah, Watson, our case would have been better served if I had applied the intelligence God granted me. If you ever have a mind to chronicle this adventure, I fear your readers will be much disappointed. I should have examined that area of the warehouses with more care, because this footstep is similar to those found at Stenix. We have only to follow to learn where they lead. Here is a tab. This one is less damaged. Excellent. We now know the source of these illicit goods. Watson, we shall now return to Baker Street. There is much to be done. Have we received any word from Mycroft? It seems to me there is a letter on the table for you. Perhaps it is from Mycroft. So, the poor devil who lay under this warehouse was indeed the owner of the passport embellished with the drawing made in blood. His thumb was gashed. He is most assuredly the one who made the drawing during his captivity. But what brought him to this place? Furthermore, if this detective agency has any standing, it rests on the reputation of its associates. They are rightly regarded as proven professionals. Therefore, this dying man's last efforts were to leave clues for those who might come after him. Remember, Watson, this man's forefinger was also coated with dust, and we found drawing drawn in that very same dust upon the floor. Exactly, Holmes. An addition symbol was there, placed within a rectangle. Let us consider the facts, Watson. A number of people were taken by force underneath Warehouse 12, drugged, and then transferred in boxes by ship to some as of yet unknown destination. For the moment, London has nothing more to tell us. These people, whoever they are, have a small advantage. We should give them no more. We must make our departure, but to what destination? Wait, Watson! I have a sudden thought. What do an Edelweiss and a rectangle containing an addition symbol signify to you?
Switzerland, of course. Watson, we shall divide our tasks. I shall report the particulars of Mr. Colby's death, as this affair requires the utmost in tact and discretion. Well, I never. Thank you, I am sure. Watson, you know I'm impersonal, each man to his specialty. I rely on you to book passage for two to the continent immediately. And, Watson, see what you can learn of an institute called the Black Edelweiss and determine if it is located in Switzerland. If this place can be found, I believe it holds the answers that we seek. Now, hurry, man. The game is on. Hold on, Holmes, you are reading some penny dreadful. Here I thought to find you deep in some ancient news clippings, seeking similarities with our case, and yet you waste your time reading some outlandish adventure based upon some improbable hero. Beware of considering popular literature as unworthy of our interest, Watson. Besides, am I not myself considered by some of your readers as an improbable hero living out outlandish adventures? Holmes, you go too far. Let's not speak on this, Watson. This horrible statuette gives my nerves a shake, Holmes. This trip to Switzerland, it brings back unpleasant associations, doesn't it? Watson, those events should remain where they belong, in the past. However, I will not be joining you in Switzerland. When the train arrives in Lyon, I am afraid we must part company, as I have business elsewhere that will take some time. But Holmes... As a doctor, your impeccable credentials will allow you to ably advance our investigation at the Black Edelweiss Institute. My presence would likely only arouse suspicion and harm our cause. I am writing the name of a Swiss policeman on this piece of paper. He is stationed at the village near the Institute and is a most reliable and capable man. Turn to him, should you entertain even the slightest suspicions during your visit. And you, Holmes? As for me, Watson, I will investigate this case from the other side. Keep your wits about you, Watson. Should you witness anything out of the ordinary, no matter how trifling it seems, go immediately to the valley and ask for Superintendent Bilger. I know him. He's a trustworthy fellow and has been informed of your presence in his district. He should prove to be an able ally. Here now, this is hardly reassuring. Coachman, wait for me here. How can I help you, mine heir? Good day, sir. I am Dr. Watson. I have just come from London and... You must see Fraulein Muller. Please, if you could, she is over there. She was so impatient to receive your visit. She has made remarkable progress. But the doctor can explain everything far better than I. Look, here she is now. My little daughter!
Good day, miss. I am Dr. Watson. I believe you have word of my visit. Indeed, Doctor. Your letter said you wished to speak with Dr. Gijax. I will see if he is ready to receive you. Thank you, miss. Good morning, Dr. Watson. I must say, I viewed your letter with both astonishment and pride. You want to know more about our methods of treatment in order to compare them with those applied in your country. Indeed, Doctor. I am sure that we British could learn a great deal from our colleagues on the continent. You are quite right, my dear Doctor. But this professional consultation could have been managed with greater efficiency and ease by correspondence. I'm sure you can understand my time, as is yours, is quite valuable. Pray tell, what precisely brought you to the Black Edelweiss, Dr. Watson? It is quite simple. Through some random events, I encountered a man who was a former patient of yours. His actions suggested that he was suffering from such disorders as... Good morning. I am Amos Colby from the Northwood Agency of Boston, Massachusetts. Is something wrong, Doctor? Upon my word, this man who claims to be from the Northwood Agency is an obvious fraud. The true Amos Colby died and was buried just a few days ago in London. I must now tell you everything. I am here because one of your staff has engaged in a dangerous trade between this institution and parties in England. Moreover, those activities are tied to a murderous sect, which... And you think that this man could be one of them? Indeed. It is entirely within reason that he is here to eliminate any traces of their criminal enterprise, if you see my meaning. Indeed I do, Doctor. Let me show you out. I, I, I trust that... Please return at this same time tomorrow, and I promise I will be entirely at your disposal. But I entreat you, please maintain complete discretion on these matters. May I depend on your cooperation? Most assuredly, but... Good morning, sir. How may I be of assistance? You can start by telling your men to all take a few steps back. Then we can have a nice, friendly... Very interesting. We have indications of a personality breakdown and related paranoia. I must ask you to come with me to the examination room so we can reveal your deeper problems. Do not worry, it's nothing serious. Stand where you are. If I fill it with water, the doctor will have only a harmless injection to use. And there, it is done. Several drops alone will be enough to sedate a horse. There, that's excellent. Kunz, throw him into the holding chamber. I would feel more comfortable without this costume. However, I am here and in proper place due to Watson's singular assistance. I must remember to thank him later. Let's hope he will act according to our plan. My next move is to learn if the London kidnapper has some accomplice here. Lord, what a stench. This wretch reeks of alcohol. Taking into account his state, he has also been dosed with a good amount of some soporific. The nurse will return soon. I must make it appear as if I am still here. The nurse will return soon. I must make it appear as if I am still here.
This should complete the illusion of my presence. For how long, I can't be sure. <laughs>